This right here is a C stand, probably the most versatile stand there is. And in this video, I'm going to show you five setups to control light with such a C stand. Hey folks, Jordi here for Cinecom.net. We'll be using the Master C stands from Cupo Grip today. They have silver and black versions of these, and I've chosen the black edition as it won't reflect any light. Now, C stands are designed in a way that they can hold some weight from a distance. Not only the legs, but also the weight of the stand takes care of that. It comes with some accessories like this grip hat, in which you can mount various tools and equipment and an extension arm. This allows us to hang a light above someone without having to stand in the shot. Now, C stands have to be handled with safety precautions. These grip clamps are tightened by a rotating screw, which means you can untighten it by pulling on the extension arm. Therefore, you always want to make sure that the weight of the extension arm is always tightening that clamp and not untightening it. All right, now that we know what to pay attention to, let's see what we can do with such a C stand. So like mentioned before, we can hang a light over the subject with the extension arm that comes with the C stand. We talk about an overhead light. You can hang it a little bit behind the subject, creating this high backlight, which is very nice. This gives you almost 360 degree around your talent to film from. If your light seems to be too heavy, you can use the grip arm support from Cupo as well. They lock into their very convenient three-way clamp and add some support to the extension arm. Be careful though, this is not a solution for a falling stand. To fix that issue, you need sandbags to add weight on the legs. The next technique is called a negative fill. This time we'll not use a light, but one of these. It's called a flag or a light cutter and can be found in different shapes. We have light coming from the dome in the studio, which creates a very soft overall fill light. To add some contrast to the Stalin's face, we can block the light from one side with such a flag. Now instead of adding light, we're taking away light. That is why it's called a negative fill. Just take the flag into the grip clamp and position it in front of the light source. In this case, above the subject as well. Now, flag could also be used to remove spill light. Here we have a shot of our talent with a single LED light on the side. See how the light also illuminates the background. Now with a flag, we can cut that light so that it only illuminates the subject, making him pop out more. For the next setup, we'll need two C stands and we'll clamp a reflector frame in it. Having such a big reflector allows us to create a nice soft light from a big source. This is ideal for both a fill or a key light. In this example, we'll position the frame on the side of the subject and bounce an LED light into it, creating this nice soft key light. I'm using the Cupo's three-way clamp again, this time to fix my LED panel in place on the C stand. This saves me an extra light stand, plus it's more convenient to move the frame around with two people and get a direct idea of what the light does. In the fourth setup, we'll connect two C stands to each other with the extension arms. We now have a nice framework in which we can span a cloth such as a green screen. And of course, you can span any kinds of backgrounds in here. The nice thing is that you're able to work very fast without additional gear. Just your two C stands. And for the last setup, we'll attach a boom pole onto the C stand. We'll use a super clamp on top of the C stand to secure that pole in place. This one is also from Cupo and I'll have links to all of the equipment used in this video in the description below. The conventional light stands require a lot of counterweights, but a C stand will actually hold a pretty long length. This is great for when doing a fixed interview and you're limited on crew members. Now, when your day is over, you need to pack your gear. The C stands I got from Cupo Grip are called the Turtle Base C stands. And they have this super convenient feature which allows me to fold and unfold the legs within a second. Just pull the lever on the C stand and swing the legs into place or they can also swing them back together for easy transports. If you're going to put them away, then pay attention to the legs. You can actually stack them with the highest leg over the shortest. This saves you some space. I want to thank Cupo Grip a lot for providing me these C-stands and the additional accessories. We are very happy that they will be part of our brand new studio, which is going to need a lot of work over the next months as you've seen. Now make sure to follow the first link in the description below to find out more about all of their products. I hope you've learned some new insights about the C stand. I think that anyone who has used one before can relate to me when I say that they are indispensable. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative. <laughs>